Hello, this is Hans van der Kwaas, Senior Lecturer at IHC Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how the flow accumulation functions of PC Raster work. We will use the tools that are included in the PC Raster QGIS resource sharing plugin repository. Installation is explained in another video. The first tool that we will look at is the AccuFlux tool. All these tools, they come with documentation. If you click the link, it will open the page where the tool is explained. And for this tool, we need the LDD map and a map with materials. Both are rasters. LDD is uh, the local drain direction map, which has the flow direction in the PC raster format. And uh, here we get some more information about how these accumulation functions work. Basically, they route the materials over the local drain direction map. And it adds up the material from the upstream cells uh, in the cell that we consider. Let's apply it. We have a local drain direction map and we have a rainfall map with for each pixel the amount of precipitation in millimeters. This is annual precipitation in this case. And with this we can calculate the discharge by accumulating the values. It's a very simple model because there are no losses assumed. There is no uh, evaporation. So it's not very realistic. Set the projection and add some styling. Let's use blues. And here we see the accumulated rainfall and the uh, rivers come out. And uh, the units are in uh, millimeters total discharge per year. So if you need it in cubic meters per second, you need to do a conversion. You can do it with uh, map algebra and raster calculator. Now here I have a map with a nitrogen load and um, each pixel has the amount of nitrogen in uh, kilograms and I'm going to also accumulate this in the catchment. Using the same way. And here we get the accumulated amount of nitrogen kilogram per year. There are some boundary effects. To make this a bit more realistic, we're going to try a few other ACU tools that are available. The first one is the ACU fraction flux and ACU fraction state. And uh, if we click the link, then we find uh, the documentation and there it gives an explanation that uh, you can define a transport fraction. So only a certain fraction is moved out of the cell uh, during the accumulation. So here in this example, you see what happens if it's a constant of 0 0.5. And we see that the material of 6, half of it will remain in the cell and half of it will move downstream to the next cell. and adds up to the material that's there, etc., etc. So in this way we can uh, remove a fraction and then uh, we can have the output of the flux and of the state. So the state is the remainder in the cell. Let's apply this. We use the local drain direction map and then the pollution of nitrogen and then the transport fraction, which is this layer, which is a value between 0 and 1 of the fraction that is uh, removed and then I run it and it produces the flux and the state map. This is the flux. You see it's uh, different than the, what we had before with the end load. Let's style it. And we have the states. Let's also style it. And we see that there's a, an outlier value there. If I make it smaller, we see more contrast. So now we know when we apply a transport fraction that uh, a part will move to the next cell. And that is what we find in the flux layer. And part will remain. And that's what we find in the state layer. Sometimes, however, you don't want a fraction to be removed, but you want it only to be removed when it exceeds a certain threshold. 
Then we use the Accu Threshold Flux and Accu Threshold State tools. Let's have a look at the documentation. And here we see that it has the same form as the others, but we need to give the threshold value. And uh, transport will only occur if a certain threshold of losses has been reached and material less than the threshold uh, will be stored and the rest will be moved to the next cell. So let's uh, try it, but we need to uh, define this threshold layer. And I'm going to make a new layer with the spatial tool. And I define there a constant threshold of 10 to save it as a scalar. And I can use the LDD as a mask or any of the other layers. It doesn't matter. I'm going to call that threshold. So only if there's uh, 10 units exceeded, uh, we start to move the materials. So let's go to the Accu Threshold Flux tool. And after defining all the inputs, we can run it. And check the results. And here we see the result. There are some other Accu tools that work in a similar way. Uh, this is the Accu Travel Time Flux. And there you need to give a velocity as an input um, and then it can use that velocity to determine when the material moves downstream. So it uses the travel time. And you can also combine that with a fraction. And there's also a possibility to use the Accu Trigger Flux where it will only start flowing downstream when a certain trigger value has been reached. So in this video you've seen several options to route materials over the drainage direction.